Hello everybody, this is Steve from Old Boy Moto. G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, just thought I'd do this clip today. Um, after contracting COVID and having long COVID for a month, um, I've decided to put myself to the test. So uh, I've loaded up the V-Strom and I'm going to do just a short trip to the Buckland Valley in northeast Victoria and just do a camp overnight and um, see how I can cope with it. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd just do a video and invite you along. Enjoy. Yeah, guys, I just thought I'd just show you this little road. Um, just do a quick snippet. Um, this is the road that gets you to Myrtleford from Stanley or Beechworth. If you're coming from Beechworth, you can flip through Stanley, which is 8 k's from Beechworth. Uh, just go straight through the township of Stanley and then <clears throat> uh, look for the sign Myrtleford and it'll take you on this mountain cutting. And it really is uh, a nice road. Like a lot of bikes get on this road and they, they go pretty hard too. So um, I'd be careful. It's a weekday so it should be pretty quiet but uh, I hope you can sort of get a little bit of that. Look out, I'm all over the road here. Thank God there's no cars. But uh, just is a really nice um, track through the the Bowman's Forest, uh, which is in between Stanley and the Myrtleford Road. So what you'll do is you'll come out onto the T intersection, probably about 12 k's down the road, I think it is. Yeah, about 12 k's from Stanley. And you turn right to go to... Um, Myrtleford or left to go to Yakandanda. Um, so this is one to remember and remember the weekends are really busy you'll get a lot of traffic on this road. Uh, another thing to watch out for is just little landslides you know you get because it's been cut out there um, yeah you get a lot of uh, debris come down especially when it's been raining and also the mandatory tree across the road occasionally Anyway, good road this one, the Stanley Myrtleford Road. Yeah, it's just, um, as I'm coming down the hill, I've had about seven or eight riders go past me and they are hammering. Um, yeah, good luck to them. They look like young blokes on sports bikes. Mixed. Yeah, just um, coming into the little township of Poor Punka. I don't know if you can read that. Very strange name. It's an Aboriginal name, obviously. And just over there, when I was a kid, I used to go to school there. I went there in 1967. I started school there. I was about, oh no, sorry, 66. So I was uh, nine, I think, or ten. Um, and that was the first time we lived in the Buckland Valley. And I used to travel from the Buckland Valley every day by bus to school in this little 12-seater Thames bus. Thames. Not many people today would know what a Thames bus is. Anyway, it was a... Uh, it was an English made bus made in England and it was like a little ro roly-poly sort of looking thing if I can find a picture of it I'll put it up on the video anyway beautiful scenery here that's Mount Buffalo over there um, yeah it's just really really nice the Buckland Valley uh, a lot more people living up here now though uh, like in the 60s I can't exactly remember where the dirt road used to start, but I know that past the farm that we were living on, the road was still dirt um, until they bitumenised it, probably another oh, 10 or so k's up the valley. Yeah, they were good days. I used to ride my push bike in too, like probably 10 k's just to, just to get an ice cream. Anyway, enjoy that scenery, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. 
It was a good experience living here as a kid. Yeah, okay, so we're a few k's up the valley now, probably 10 k's up the Buckland Valley. This is the back of um, Mount Buffalo, beautiful scenery here. Well, this is actually the farm that I spent a lot of time as a kid. My father was a tobacco share farmer. We actually lived in this house here, the one with the fern on it there. It looks bloody beautiful, it's called Volunga. It's changed a little bit, but a lot of the old houses are still there. That's a brand new house there. But that used to be all tobacco. And I'm pretty sure the same owners still own it. Uh, I can remember that rock out in the middle of the paddock there. I don't know whether you can see it. But as kids, we used to get a, a picnic and go out on the rock and have a picnic for the day. It was bloody beautiful. So this is what they call the Buckland Bridge, and that's the old bridge over there. And they told me that the um, the trusses underneath the bridge were um, First World War items made out of um, the bridges that they used to construct for the First World War. I can remember that bridge just being a rickety old thing. We used to get over it with tractors and everything else. Really nice, this is a brand new bridge obviously and so the spot we're at is actually called the Buckland Bridge for obvious reasons. Um, so we've got about 20 odd k's of camping spots up here. So I'm pretty sure the road turns to dirt very shortly. Um, they haven't got this far obviously so but look, it's just a beautiful place to visit if you're ever in northeast Victoria. Come up here and do a bit of camping and have a good look around. There's a lot of gold history up here. Yeah, right, eh? So we'll come a few more k's up from the Buckland Bridge and you'll get to the Buckland Cemetery. And I've got a special reason to um, visit this place today. Uh, was a good man I used to know who sadly passed away probably a year or so ago. Um, passed away too young when he was a builder. Paul McMahon was his name and he was just a good bloke and um, he was a keen shooter and he spent a lot of time in the Buckland Valley and so he was asked to be buried here and I'm just going to go and visit the grave so this is a very old cemetery. I can remember visiting this cemetery as a kid um, with the school and the teachers would go over uh, the old graves and tell us about them. And there's a lot of unmarked Chinese graves here and over the back there all they are are little lumps in the ground. Um, basically all they are. Um, so it's a, a pioneer cemetery. As you can see, some of them are very, very old. Uh, they date back to 1850s. Mm. Well, here it is. Um, and it's very different. It's beautiful. Very nice. Uh, the cross has been made differently, and it's... There it is. Paul McMahon solid as a rock. God bless you, Paul. Um, Paul did some work for me. Um, he helped build my house. And um, uh, he was just a brilliant builder who could just turn his hand to anything. Um, I think he was qualified as a plumber, but he could do anything. Apologies, Paul was actually a carpenter, a qualified carpenter. And... Um, just a brilliant, brilliant builder. Have a look at this. They put a hammer in here and they've put punches and they're bullets because he was a keen shooter. Just a really, really good memorial. Fantastic. Someone's gone through a lot of trouble to make that. God bless you, Paul. He's gone too soon. He wasn't very old. Um, it was just a pleasure to know him.
Um, we're about 10 k's in, and it's a gravel road, and it's really reasonable. I mean, you, there's nothing you couldn't uh, take up here. I mean, it, it's in really good condition. Um, it looks like it's maintained very well. It's been graded. You know, I mean, you can pull a caravan into here. I've just passed the 10 k sign there, so we're 10 k's in from the Buckland Bridge, and the road's just terrific. Um, it might change if it got wet, but uh, it's a river. You can get along all right here. Apart from the bends, there's some sharp bends that you've got to watch out for for oncoming traffic, obviously. Otherwise, it's really good. This is what you can expect. Yeah, right, so I've pulled off the Buckland Valley Road. I saw a sign now. I've been past a couple of campsites, and they're really beautiful sites up here miles of room um, you can bring a caravan up here no problem but there's I like me solitude so there's no one here at this campsite it's called Shippens S-H-I-P-P-E-N-S -P -P and you come in straight off the Buckland Valley Road uh, and there's a brand new drop toilet here um, so I've decided this will do me there's no one here at the moment there's access to the river, it's a bit of a steep climb, but there's some good holes down there. So it might be pretty good for my fishing endeavour. And I reckon just over there in the shade, I'll set up camp and um, spend the night here, I think, and just relax, do a bit of fishing. <laughs> 